Hello everyone, my name is Diane and this is Madame Butterfly Tarot and this is just a little cheeky quick pick a card reading for the 17th of August but you know it's a timeless reading obviously so whenever you find this you know when it was it'll still be you know relevant for you it's a general reading so this is pile one two and three the first pile is uh, the black tourmaline this is amethyst and this is selenite so I'll just give you a second to choose your pile and obviously you can pause the video if you want a little bit longer okay so just move that guy off to the side here and we will start with pile number one the black tourmaline so you have oh you have the sun shine nice card to start with you have forgiveness i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love you have surrender to success. You definitely have some something good coming in here, pile number one. Um, you're ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. And I have two more cards here, but I just want to keep. I just want to talk while I while it's coming to me. So it's like you're about to start shining. It's like you've been, you know, because in the tarot. The, the sun card, you know, in the, in the death card, you have like the sun coming out in the death card, right? So you may have come out of some kind of, not a dark night of the soul, but it's like you're leaving a lot of negative stuff behind you. And I feel like it's either like you're forgiving a specific person or you're forgiving yourself for, for things that um, you may have gotten yourself involved, you know, like a bad relationship or something like that or for not standing up for yourself, or for not moving fast enough, or some people in the past that have done things to you, I feel like you're releasing it, right? Because her heart chakra is opening there as well. So I feel like the, you're going through like, or you've, you've been through like a huge period of release. And I feel like this, because there may have been some blocks around like forgiving people from your past or yourself that was kind of stopping you from being successful because you're about to experience some kind of abundance here it's like the sun is about to come out because you see here obviously there's the sun and she's she's shining there but see here it's like you're coming out of a dark tunnel you know it's like the, the path is finally clear right it's like it's been dark and then you're going into the sun so don't look back at things that have happened in the past like people that have hurt you you know, try and release all that because you're about to, yeah, like the sun is about to start shining on you, pile number one. You're really about to step into abundance here of some kind. Now, that could be a relationship, that could be money, it could be both, you know. For some of you, if you've been looking to get in the public limelight in some way or get some kind of attention that's going to lead you to success, I feel like that's coming in for you now because there may have been something about not forgiving yourself. Like, you know, feeling ashamed or feeling like you didn't deserve the public, act, like the spotlight. It doesn't have to be the public spotlight or the spotlight. You know, even like stepping into a managerial role, for example, you may have felt like you didn't deserve it. But because you're releasing that, I feel like you're about to start shining. So that may translate to, for some of you into like, you know, a managerial position or maybe like, uh, I don't know, maybe you've got a social media presence going that you're going to start shining in. And it's going to lead to money coming in, pile one. So your other cards you have, oh, that's a lovely combination. You have be still and cleanse. So you have definitely been going through, let me just move this. So it's straight. <laughs> um, you have been, I think you've probably been in a period of stillness, which may have felt like stuckness, but it was kind of so you could get a new perspective on things um, because it's like you've been being cleansed. You know, it's something to do with like forgiving yourself or forgiving people and like releasing all this negativity from the past. You've been going through some kind of cleanse, but you're about to come out of that, okay? And you're about to be very successful. So I really hope that was useful for you, pile number one. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to move on to pile number two, which is the amethyst, right? 
Okay, pile number two, you have the base chakra or the root chakra, whatever you want to call it. There we go. You have discipline. <laughs> That's funny that that came out with the root chakra. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So first of all, I'm, you might want to, either you've been working on your root chakra or maybe you would Spirit is trying to get you to work a little bit more on your root chakra because if you want to know more about the chakras you should check out my other channel which is listed in the description box because I have videos about the chakras there um, but the root chakra is the one that kind of gives you stability and when it is closed you'll find that you're kind of lazy right <laughs> and I'm not judging you mine is often closed I have to work on it very like a lot to, to make sure I get my chores done. So there may be something, you may have a little bit of a block in your root chakra that you might want to work on um, because it, it might be stopping you from being more disciplined because if you're, yeah, you, you might just want to work on, on your root chakra or maybe you are doing that, right? Um, you also have surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Okay. <laughs> um, weirdly, you know, I don't know if you ever saw South Park, but you know there's that episode with Cartman where he spends the whole episode going, respect my authority when he's the copper. Um, so <laughs> I don't know why they put that in my head. You may want to, I don't know, maybe you want to work on your solar plexus chakra too because um, that's a sign of an of a, of a imbalance in your solar plexus chakra is the need to always be right. If you feel like that is something that's resonating with you, I'm not saying that you always need to be right, but that might be a message for someone. And you have exhaustion and you have magic. All right. So I kind of feel like you might be, well, I mean, you have exhausted here. You, some of you might actually be being over-disciplined. You take this as it resonates, right? Because it's going to be different messages um, for different people. But some of you may be over-disciplined. And what I mean by that is, see the, the root chakra, the base chakra? You want it to be balanced. But if it is... Um, if it's too open, basically you'll be really lazy. <laughs> um, but if it is um, closed, you can. it can also make you really lazy if it's closed too because it's kind of fear that stops you from doing things. But if it's, if it's closed, you might find that you suffer from a lot of anxiety. Like, because the root chakra, it deals with fear, right? So if you don't have any fear, <laughs> you're not gonna do your chores or like pay your bills and stuff, right? Because you don't really care. Um, but if it's if it's closed, you might have too much fear. You know, you might be kind of working yourself into the ground here and you have discipline, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So it may be that you need to be a little more disciplined rather than, because, and I say this with love because I do it myself. I have, a, I, I struggle with the root chakra myself. Um, like that kind of tense feeling that you always get, like always being a bit on edge, that's a, that, that's a closed root chakra, like not feeling safe. So you may have to have more discipline in, you know, getting your, maybe get yourself into a routine instead of, because the danger with a blocked root chakra is kind of trying to do everything all at once and not really resting, you know? So there may be some, there may be a message like that for you here. Maybe you have to be more disciplined about um, setting yourself a proper routine so that you're not working all the time, but you definitely have time off. Because the thing is as well, when you're stressed out like that, it tends to be that you kind of, you're working all the time, but you don't really get that much done. Do you know what I mean? Because there's a little bit of a need for you to kind of believe in magic here. I feel like there's a control issue in this pile. I feel like you have, you may be a little bit of a control freak or, and again, I struggle with that myself, so I'm not judging you, but those two, like the, the root chakra and this surrender, you need to always be right. <clears throat> that can talk about a, a, an unbalanced solar plexus chakra. So you might be suffering from a lot of anxiety um, and trying to control everything where actually what you really need to do is kind of work on 
work on your root chakra, work on your solar plexus chakra. Again, if you don't know what that means, check out my other channel and there's free, um, there's free things that you can do that aren't going to cost you anything that will help you open them, right? Uh, or help, help you balance them, I should say. Because I feel like there's an anxiety in this pile and there's kind of a need for you to sort of release control to the universe, right? That's why you have this magic card. Because when you're trying to control everything, it's very difficult for the universe to give you the blessings that they want to give you, right? Because you're controlling how it comes in and you're kind of keeping an eye on everything because you kind of don't believe you're going to get it because you're operating from fear and anxiety. Um, so I feel like that's what that is. Rather than you kind of feeling the need to always be right, I feel like it's it's talking about your solar plexus chakra. So I hope that was helpful, pile number two. I hope I didn't ramble at you too much there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and we're going to do pile number three now, which was the selenite. So pile number three, you have... Uh, trust, you have the Fool, if we can get it to focus, there we go, you have Grief, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it, there's something here about trust, because you may have had something taken away from you temporarily, right so that you can appreciate it because sometimes spirit will do that to you like maybe there's a specific person that you're waiting for uh to come back or maybe there's like just something that's causing like it's it's like a you're kind of having to have trust you ha you're kind of having to have a bit of faith in the universe here that you're going to get what you want because sometimes like i said spirit will take something away from you and then give it back to you later, but it's kind of um, to make you appreciate it, right? Let's see what else you've got here. You've got surrender to receiving love and, uh, sorry, support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off you and simultaneously nurture you. And you have reflection and support again. So there's definitely something about you surrendering to receiving support. Trust, pile number three, trust that you are supported by the universe because they may have taken something away from you. And sometimes the reason that they do that, and I believe me, I'm speaking from experience here, um, sometimes the reason that they do that is because it's kind of a test of faith. They kind of want to see, because you see how I put support here and you got trust here. The, the whole point of the full card is like you're supposed to just kind of let go. It's like one of those trust exercises. You know when they, they, they always do it on TV, those ridiculous team building exercises where you have to like let go and drop into the other person's arms. Um, I suppose it's not ridiculous, but I don't know. I hate team building stuff. Um, it's like that's what she's doing here. It's like Spirit kind of wants you to let go and trust that they're going to catch you because you're always supported by the universe. Because this may be, um, you may, I feel like Pile 1 had a similar message. So you may have been drawn to Pile 1 as well. With reflection here, you may be in a little bit of a period of kind of thinking, like thinking and reflecting, like a period of kind of non-activity, or maybe you've been doing a lot of thinking. I also feel like maybe some of you have someone coming in, like a love or a friend or someone coming in. This may be someone that you're in separation with at the moment. This person is going to be a reflection of you in some way, whether that's a relationship or, you know, um, just a, like a love relationship or a friend. <coughs> Excuse me, pile three. This person's, they're going to be like a reflection of you. That reflection card is kind of giving me two of cups vibes. So some of you could actually have a soulmate coming in here and they're going to be like, it's, 
you know, it's kind of like six of pentacles energy. Like you're going to receive love, but you, because maybe you're someone who's used to always giving love to people, you know, and not really getting anything back. And you, you're about to meet someone or you're waiting for someone that's going to give back to you, right? It's going to be a lot of equal give and take here. But I feel like, um, for some of you, they've maybe taken this person away from you briefly to kind of teach you to trust in, in the support of the universe. Like, there's a plan here. We're going to give you this person or we're going to give you a new person. Um, but it's something about letting go. Because this period where you've been alone, pile number three, or this period where you've been in reflection, I feel like it's been to sort of get your walls down a bit because there's someone in coming in here, <coughs> excuse me, or a number of people coming in if it's like a friend group who want to help you. And it's time, because with the trust card here, you know, with the fool card, the thing is, it's about a leap, it's about taking a leap of faith, but sometimes you kind of have to change yourself a little bit. Like you have, you know, maybe if you're someone that's like, you don't really trust people or you prefer to be in control, you might have to release control a little bit, right? Um, so I hope that was helpful. Pile number three, thank you so much for watching. And as always, many blessings, love and light.